Hello leaders and future leaders. This is retired Sergeant First Class Bites. In this video, we are going to discuss the minimum requirements to enlist in the military. The process for enlistment and the requirements to enlist are similar across all branches, but it's not one shoe fits all. When you meet with a recruiter, the recruiter is going to ask you some pre-qualifying questions to determine your eligibility status. So that is what we will primarily focus on in this video to help you determine if you're eligible to join the military. Now, if you don't meet all the enlistment criteria mentioned, you could still potentially receive some type of waiver allowing you to bypass regulatory guidance. So the first thing you will be asked is your age. Age requirements for each branch. Coast Guard, 17 to 35 years old. Marines, 17 to 28. Navy, 17 to 39. Army, 17 to 35. Air Force, 17 to 39. Space Force, 17 to 39. If enlisting while 17 years old, you must have parental or guardian consent. Next, are you prior service. If you are, you will need to provide a copy of your DD-214 to your recruiter. Physical condition. Typically, you will be asked for your height and weight. If you do not know, these measurements will be taken on the spot. Have you been prescribed any medication in the past? Have you ever had any surgeries? Have you ever had asthma or used an inhaler? Have you ever been diagnosed with any injuries or illnesses? Do you have any physical issues? Have you seen any doctors regarding mental health? Now, if you say yes to any of these questions, that does not mean that you will be immediately disqualified. Depending upon what you've answered yes to, your recruiter may ask you to provide them with medical documents in regard to that injury or illness. Remember, MEPS will have access to your your medical records, so be careful when answering these questions. However, you are not a doctor, so don't self-diagnose yourself with anything. Watch my video on self-diagnosing, link in the video description. Citizenship. Are you a U.S. citizen? If not, you will need to provide a green card or equivalent. Law violations. Have you ever talked to a police officer or a judge? Have you ever been arrested? Have you ever been fingerprinted? Do you have any unpaid fines? Do you have a pending court date? Are you currently on probation? Again, answering yes to any of these questions does not mean that you will be disqualified. You may just need to go to the courthouse and provide court records to show all your fines have been paid or that you are no longer on probation or whatever the case may be. Education. Are you currently in high school? If so, what grade are you in? Some branches will allow you to enlist as a 17-year-old high school junior. If you are still a student, watch my video about joining in high school. Link in the video description. Do you have a high school diploma or a GED? If not, you can enlist if you have 15 college credits. There is also the chance that they could change the education requirements like they did temporarily back in June where you were able to enlist without a high school diploma or GED as long as you scored at least a 50 on the ASVAB. I have a video on this topic on my channel as well. If you have a degree or have JROTC experience, you could enter the military at a higher pay grade. Marital status. Are you married? Do you have children? If so, how many children do you have? If applicable, depending upon your marital status and how many children you have, you might require a family care plan and or a dependency waiver. Do you have any tattoos? If so, where are they located? Some tattoos can potentially get you disqualified depending upon the location and size. Have you ever taken the ASVAB? If you have, what was your score? Where did you take it and how long ago was that? Minimum ASVAB requirements for each branch. Coast Guard, 36. Marines, 31. Navy, 26. Army, 31. Air Force, 31 for high school seniors and graduates. GED holders must achieve a minimum 50 AFQT score. Space Force, high school seniors or graduates must achieve a minimum 30 31 AFQT overall score. GED holders must achieve a minimum 50 AFQT score. If you do not meet all the enlistment criteria mentioned, do not count
count yourself out just yet. There is always the possibility of a waiver or a change in regulatory guidance. I'd still suggest reaching out to a recruiter. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If there are changes to the regulations or any kind of policy updates, I will do my best to upload videos on the topic quickly and accurately. This is Sergeant First Class Bites. I'm out.